Hi, my name is Colin and I am a product manager on Microsoft Clarity. In this video, you will learn how to easily track a series of user actions with funnels. We will cover what funnels are, how to use them, and how to create your own. While it is always important to track individual user actions like the number of purchases or signups, it is also important to track the bigger picture. What actions did the user take on the way to a conversion? For example, did a user visit a sale page before buying? How many users that started a checkout completed the purchase? Or how many users signed up after visiting a specific landing page? With funnels in Microsoft Clarity, you can gain a complete understanding of these scenarios. Funnels build on smart events and help you understand the conversions or drop-offs in a specific user flow. Be sure to watch our previous video about smart events to learn more. To view a funnel, navigate to the funnels card in the dashboard. The top three metrics detail the overall percentage and number of sessions that complete the entire funnel, as well as the median time to convert. The bars detail each individual step of the funnel. The light purple represents the percent of sessions that converted from the previous step, while the dark purple represents the percent of sessions that did not convert from the previous step. Easily view heat maps and recordings to dive deeper into user behaviors. For example, you may want to watch recordings for sessions where users dropped off right before a purchase. To view a different funnel, select the drop down and then your interested funnel. You can also set a default funnel by pinning it. When a funnel is pinned, it will always show up first in the funnel's card. To view what steps are included in a funnel, navigate to the settings panel. To edit the steps, select the funnel name or click on the pencil icon. The left side of the module lets you add a funnel step from the list of smart events or page visits. The right side shows the steps in order. Select and drag from the left to the right pane to add steps or select the X to delete steps. Save once you are finished. Clarity will start collecting data for this new funnel and display in the dashboard. To create a completely new funnel, select the new funnel button. You'll see a similar module with all the available signals to add. Simply drag and drop from left to right, then name your funnel and hit save. Tip, when adding a page visit as a funnel step, be sure to provide a short descriptive name in place of the URL. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.